Another month, another Modern Warfare 3 content drop, this time bringing two new maps, Sanctuary and Foundation. Sanctuary is a beautiful mountaintop monastery in Greece full of breathtaking views, gorgeous architecture and inspirational artwork, while Foundation is a concrete factory. Am I to take it from this that you have a favourite of the two? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, regardless, they're both great new additions to the ever-expanding Elite Map Library, and if you're anything like us, you're going to spend a lot of time on them getting shot in the head. And chest. And chest, right. Always in the chest. If you'd rather spend less time getting shot in the head and chest and legs all right that's enough then we've put together a quick beginner's guide to the new maps to give you an idea about what to expect when jumping in online so we'll start off with foundation the concrete factory yes the concrete factory shut up it's an exciting setting so the big thing about foundation is its verticality there are plenty of elevated spots throughout the level so you always need to remember to be looking up as well as around you as you move through the level yeah, Foundation can be a sniper's paradise. You'll see plenty of guys up on top of piles of boxes in the metal gantries, so you need to either keep out of their lines of sight, snipe them in return, or try and ambush them by moving up to them from one of the multiple access spots to their position. If you prefer to play in an assault style and avoid sniping, then your best bet, as is often the case in Modern Warfare 3, is to stick to the perimeter of the map and work your way around. If you can work together with your team and move in a pack, then even better. Just keep focused and bear in mind that the high level of background noise from all the machinery means you may not hear enemy footsteps over the din. Also, be aware that there are certain choke points which usually end up being where a large chunk of your engagements take place, particularly around the long machinery section here and the mobile concrete machine around here that people seem to love to lie on top of for some reason. Also worth noting is that, for whatever reason, none of the trucks on the level explode when you fire on them, so don't, don't even try. When moving along the gantries, bear in mind that you can shoot downwards through the metal grid floors at enemies below, which comes in handy a lot on this level. Finally, keep an eye out in any of the indoor sections of this level for campus settlement blind corners. Just keep your awareness high as you move through interior sections and you should be okay. You can also utilise the blind corners to your advantage by setting up some claymores. We keep blundering into enemy explosives on this level so we can testify that it works far too often. OK, now we're moving on to Sanctuary, a monastery that's decided to break from the traditional image of monasteries as quiet, peaceful places of beatific reflection by hosting giant violent gunfights. It's possible that not all of this is approved by the abbot. Anyway, this is a huge map with big long sight lines on the outside of the map and narrow twisty corridors indoors. There are plenty of nifty spots to set up in for snipers and you can even get onto the roofs of the outside of the map like this, affording you decent cover and sight lines along the bridge. If someone is doing this who isn't you, pop around and shoot them in the back. So plenty of sniper sight lines on the outside, so if you want to avoid constant insta-death you might want to stick to the indoor sections and cloisters which should provide you with plenty of cover. For this we'd recommend a loadout that allows you to switch between close and long range easily, something like a Type 95 or MK14 as your primary weapon, with something like a Kimbo FMG 9s to switch to when you move indoors. Or you could just use overkill and take a sniper rifle and a shotgun with you. As with foundation, the indoor sections are ripe for planting explosives, so get those claymores and bouncing Bessies down when you can. One final piece of advice, if you can, stay out of the graveyard. Not only is it open on four sides, making it extremely hard to defend yourself in, it's also totally haunted by the ghosts of the family from the Davis family vacation mission in the single player campaign. Well, unless you feel like you can maintain a sniping position with the screams of tortured ghosts constantly ringing in your ears. Sure, un unless then. So we hope you found this quick introduction to the new maps useful. Remember, if you're an Elite Premium member, then they're there for you to download right now, so get downloading and we'll see you online. Arms! That's, that's another place we get shot. Uh, and the back. Yes, just keep it down. <laughs>